Hello, this message may be for you. I have been feeling the same way about a bandit, a loss, and God gave me this to help me move on. I'm sharing this with you because I know I'm not the only one. Greetings, brothers and sisters, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Minister Jay Jones of Agape Image Ministries. Have you ever felt abandoned by God, like I did? Felt like He's distant, or worse, like He's doing nothing while you struggle? But what I found out is, if I told you that God's silence is not a sign of inaction, but the very place where He is most at work. In this video, we're diving deep into the mystery of God's stillness and discovering why, when God is silent, He is still working. We all go through seasons of silence, where it feels like our prayers bounce off the walls and life's burdens seem heavier than ever. But in those very moments, God is orchestrating something profound behind the scenes, working in ways we cannot see. Here are some key points. 1. Preparation in silence. Think of it as the quiet before the storm. When God seems silent, He's laying the foundation for something much bigger. He's preparing our hearts, polishing our faith, and readying us for His plans. Like clay in the potter's hands, He's shaping us for His masterpiece. 2. A test of faith. Silence doesn't mean God has abandoned you. Instead, it's a test of faith. True faith is not forged when life is easy, but when the path ahead is unclear. In these moments, we learn to trust God's sovereignty and lean into His eternal wisdom, even when we don't have all the answers. 3. Intimacy in the Stillness God's silence is an invitation to draw closer to Him. When words fail and noise fades, that's when we can truly listen. In the quiet, we experience a deeper, more intimate connection with our Creator learning to trust in His love without needing constant reassurance. 4. Surrendering control. Letting go of our need for control is hard, but it's in God's stillness that we learn the art of surrender. We may not understand the why behind His silence, but trusting in His perfect timing grows our dependence on His plan. 5. Refining your character. Just as fire refines gold, God's silence refines our character. It strips away our weaknesses and molds us into vessels ready to carry out His divine purpose. In this process, we reflect more of Christ's love, grace, and mercy to the world. 6. Alignment with God's will. God's silence brings our desires and His will into harmony. It's a period of realignment where our priorities shift and we begin to see the world through His eyes. In the quiet, we tune into His voice and recalibrate our hearts to match His purpose. 7. Preparation for Action Far from being passive, God's silence is filled with action. It's like drawing back an arrow, building the tension before the release. As we wait, He prepares us for the work ahead, equipping us with the strength and courage to step into our calling when the time is right. 8. Growing in Gratitude After the silence, the moments when God speaks become even more precious. We learn to treasure His words, recognizing them as gifts from the one who holds the universe in his hands. 9. Encouraging others. Your experience of God's silence can be a beacon of hope for others. When you share your story of faith and endurance, you become a light for those walking through their dark valleys. You show them that even when God seems quiet, he is still present, still working. 10. The greater purpose. Remember God's silence is never without purpose. It's part of His grand design, a single note in the infinite symphony of His divine will. One day we'll see the full picture, His plan unfolding in all its glory, and we'll understand the beauty of the silence. Here are some things we can do while we wait on God. So, when you find yourself in a season of silence, don't lose hope. Trust that God is working in ways you can't see. Hold on to your faith, let His stillness refine you, and stay in step with His will. If this message resonated with you, share it with someone who needs encouragement, and don't forget to subscribe for more faith-filled content. Remember to stay prayed even though you're by yourself. The enemy is after you too, but God got you. Let us close with a prayer. Father God, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude, even amid silence. We know that when you seem quiet, you are working in ways beyond our understanding. Help us to trust your timing, your purpose, and your love even when we don't have all the answers. Lord, refine our hearts in the stillness. Shape us into vessels of your grace 
and strengthen our faith in the moments of uncertainty. May we learn to rest in your presence, surrender our fears, and align our will with yours. Teach us to find peace in the quiet, knowing that you are always near, always faithful, and always at work. We ask for your guidance as we step into your plan, and we pray for the courage to walk in faith, trusting that you hold our future in your hands. May your peace and your presence fill our hearts, and may we be a light for others, reflecting your love in all we do. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Eyes open. This prayer draws together the themes of the message, offering a moment of reflection and surrender to God's divine work. By any chance, if you found this video helpful in any way, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Maybe I missed something. Thank you. God bless you. Blessed quietness, holy quietness, what assurance in my soul. On the stormy sea, Jesus speaks to me, and the billows cease to roll.